We all know Season 4 is not running smooth at all, so therefore I'm about to show you in today's video a FPS boost pack with literally anything which you can do on your PC straight up and I'm gonna explain it step by step, even with additional game user settings depending on if you have a low end, mid end or high end PC. I'm about to show you everything and even additional method to reduce your ping, so therefore don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Real quick guys, I'm also hosting by the way weekly giveaways over on my Discord where you can win Steam Balance, V-Bucks or even Amazon cards, so therefore make sure that you join up. So guys, and this is the boost pack which you can by the way get from my official website, the link is gonna be in the description and first up we're gonna click under optimizer and in here we have now optimizer 15.8 this tool is literally the best all-in-one tweaker for windows pcs and i'm just gonna explain you exactly what you need to enable and next up what you can do as well under system in the first place guys we have some of the best core tweaks for your windows pc which works for windows 10 or windows 11 and no matter if you're running nvidia or amd you can even click on all of these here and it's gonna tell you exactly what every single one of them does something like disable low disk space check notifications disable shake to minimize features next up optimize network windows and Implements a network throttling mechanism that will restrict network traffic while running multimedia apps. So therefore actually with disabling these ones, you're gonna actually improve your ping while gaming. Next up also something like disable super fetch guys, super easy, super fetch re super fetch preloads, commonly used applications to RAM causing high disk usage. Not only your RAM is gonna be used a lot, but also your hard drive. So therefore you wanna make sure to disable this one. Disable telemetry task is also super important since it basically just sends performance data to Microsoft and you wanna avoid this because we don't care about it. So Therefore, all of these tweaks which are already pre-applied here are super safe to apply. By the way, if it doesn't say for you here, restart to apply changes, you just simply have to real quick disable one and enable it back up and then you can apply all of these to your system. But we're not done yet, guys. We're gonna move over here now to startup. And in here, I want you to go through every single tool and make sure that only those are checked which you actually wanna launch every single time you start up your PC. Because you might forget them that they actually run in the background which is also gonna decrease your performance. So therefore, go through it real quick and make sure that only what you need, something like Discord, Steam or whatever you need is actually only enabled. Next up we're gonna click under cleaner guys and in here we have one of the most advanced cleaner tool which is actually here available for Windows. We can fully clean up our temporary files, mini dumps files, then also error reports and empty the recycling bin all in one. You can also do this here for your browser and then we're gonna click under analyze and make sure to click under clean real quick. That's only gonna take a few seconds and we're already done. And now guys since we did these two things we can actually now click under restart to apply changes and it's gonna automatically apply every single tweak here in the optimizer. Next up guys we're gonna click here under run with affinity open it up and click onto the exe once we're in this tool now guys we're gonna go under selected program and make sure that we actually select a fortnite exe which should be for most of you on local dc program files then you're gonna look up here epic games which should be down here then we have fortnite then we have fortnite game binaries windows 64 and in here now we have a fortnite client windows 64 shipping exe super important guys that is actually that one then click next up under open and in here now guys we have our processor section and in here now we have select affinity and you you want to make sure that you actually select the highest number possible. You're basically telling your CPU to use all of its logical cores towards Fortnite so that we actually have the best performance possible. Also on the run you're gonna click under normal and make sure to put it under maximize and create a shortcut. Now it says shortcut created successfully we click under ok and now we basically have a Fortnite exe which is fully modified to tell our PC every single time focus mainly on this game every single time you launch Fortnite over this exe. Next up guys I'm about to show you the GR booster which you can by the way trade for absolutely free which is going to help you to reduce your ping in your favorite esports games like Fortnite. Especially if you have super high ping in-game guys, this is going to help you out so much. No matter which region you're playing on, by the way, you can see I only have 10 milliseconds latency while actually being in rank, guys. So therefore in creative, it's even lower, which is already an improvement of 60%, which is amazing. As much as you can try it for absolutely free, it's basically going to check the connection between your PC and your router and then your router and the game server, consistently looking in the background for the best DNS server and showing you the least amount of ping. And this next up now, guys, we're going to click under Fortnite game user files. And in here now, we have three specific game user settings, one for low-end PCs, mid-end and high-end PCs. And as an example, we're gonna go now here into high-end, open it up, and we now can see that everything is optimized for the best performance, and we even have a stretch resolution applied, 1722 times 1080. So therefore, what you wanna do is copy the following game user settings, just simply click under copy, go into the top bar, type in a presenter, time presenter, go back under local, press F on your keyboard for Fortnite game, saved config windows client from where on you're going to delete your old game user settings and just simply replace them with the new ones and in here you're just simply going to delete your current game user settings and replace them with the new ones which you just got from the file then this next step we're going to click under dism comments open it up open up the text prompt and copy the following comment now we only have to go into our windows search bar type in the cmd and run it as administrator and once it's running you're going to paste the following comment in there which is going to check your whole entire pc for corrupted files or something which could slow it down additionally to that you can even type in the sfc spacebar slash scan 
now, which is going to be a process which is going to check your whole entire disk for any corrupted extra files. This is by the way super beneficial, especially if you have a Windows copy already for a longer time on your current system. And then finally, we're going to click on the mouse and keyboard tweaks guys, where we have first of all keyboard optimization, where we have now registry file, which is going to actually increase the data queue size of our mouse and keyboard or any input device. So double click onto it and make sure to add it to a registry and press OK. This is going to reduce the input delay a lot guys on mouse and keyboard. So we're going to do the same here as well for mouse. Then we're going to click again under yes and under OK and we're already good to go and now you only have to restart your PC.